What's happening, everybody? Jay Shock Blast here, and we are playing as Loki. Uh, I am very close to uh, getting him to level 52, and this will serve as my intro. Um, I thought I actually was already level 51, but I'm not. So, uh, Loki is uh, a character that I enjoyed quite a bit when I started playing him, then for some reason moved on and didn't play as him for a little while. Um, like I said, super close to getting to level 52. Uh, his level 52 power is Frost Giant Form, uh, where he becomes a mighty Frost Giant. You get to, you know, uh, fight with him for a little bit as that keeps, uh, keeps going for 30 seconds. Um, what's really cool about Loki is he has lots of little summons and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, I have two character tokens. So I'm trying to like get through all these so I can uh, use them. Um, as far as costumes go, I think I have, yeah, I have Lady Loki. Uh, I got this one as like a pull of some sort. So uh, you can also play as, whoa. <laughs> yes, I'm like a little child. <laughs> Uh, there is Lady Loki. Um, I probably should play as this version uh, because it is definitely much better to look at. But I don't know. There's something about this version of Loki I enjoy. Man, maybe I should have given her. Oh no, wait, she does have the uh, the size increase. So anyway, uh, when we come back, I will be either already level 52 or about to hit level 52, and uh, we'll be able to see. Uh, his superpower, Frost Giant Form. All right, we'll be back. All right, here we are at Sinister Lab. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, fight Mr. Sinister. And I think by the time I get to him, I should be a level uh, 52. Here's hoping. Uh, give me a good chance to talk a little bit more about Loki. Um, definitely need to fight everybody, though. So, uh, right now I'm doing all the different, like, computer terminals. Um, I just sit there and I, I usually just um, re-roll all, um, all the terminal ones. I, I usually just try to do either Industry City or Midtown Manhattan, and I'll just keep re-rolling. Um, based on having them there, just so I don't have to, like, keep fast traveling back and forth. I know it's not really that big of a deal, but, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy having to, to, like, go back and forth. I just like to stay in, in Industry City or Midtown Manhattan, whatever it may be. I love this, uh, his signature move, where he puts out the, uh, it's called, uh, Unyielding Power. Where he puts out like a area of effect for like 15 seconds. Uh, that's definitely my favorite move. Uh, I wish there was a way I could like cut down the uh, the what do you call it? The recharge uh, cooldown. That's what we want. That's the word I'm looking for. Cooldown. I wish I could uh, relax the cooldown on it. But, uh, you know, whatever, I gotta wait a minute to use it, because it is a pretty freaking epic power, so. Um, alright, cool. So, really, at this point, all I have to do is beat Mr. Sinister, which uh, is half the battle. I guess I need to really actually, uh, try to fight some more of these guys, because I, I thought I would be at level 52, but I guess not. Thought I'd get a little bit more XP. Um, man, Loki. I feel like Loki's profile has been raised quite a bit uh, because of the movies, uh, especially because of Tom Hiddleston. Uh, he is Loki to me. Like, every bit... When you think of characters, like, different actors that have played certain characters and stuff like that, I know, um, you know, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man generally gets the most, um, you know, praise. You know, most people are like, oh my god, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. But for me, Tom Hiddleston is Loki. Like, he just nails the part. Like, that is just casting done right. Uh, he just, 
I mean, I really, really enjoy his work as Loki. Um, I really, it makes me want to watch more of his movies. Um, he just seems like a really cool guy too, you know, like, um, just like he really enjoys life and he's just a happy person and, and all those things. And, and I, I feel like I, it's infectious, you know, like you feed off that type of stuff. You want to root for people like that. So, um, yeah, man, uh, I definitely enjoy me some Tom Hilton. Um, you know, the last Thor movie, uh, definitely, I feel like, also raised the profile of Malekith quite a bit. Uh, they brought Malekith back in the comics, and, and he really kind of became, uh, you know, kind of like the, the main Thor bad guy. I haven't really done read any of the uh, Loki Agents of Asgard. Uh, I probably should read that a little bit more. Uh, one of the other things I really love about Loki in this game, and he's certainly not alone, but his like movement power, like where every every character basically has like a a lunging move or something like that, um, that that's meant to be like a uh, an actual you know movement power, but in in the reality is it's basically how mo basically how most people you know move quickly across the map from place to place. And uh, Loki's is especially awesome uh, because he can um, very effectively uh, transport himself uh, through walls, uh, which is very, very clutch, um, especially in situations where, um, you know, there may not be a door anywhere close. Industry City is a great uh, location to really kind of... Um, you know, prove my point, I guess, uh, m you know, make my argument for me. Uh, I'm not going to get to 52 by the time I get to, uh, Sinister. Well, that's unfortunate, but, you know, not the end of the world. I'll get to 52 off of Sinister, though, and then I guess I'll just go find somebody to, uh, to fight. But, um, you know, I tried to time this just right, and I feel like I, every time I do one of these showcases, it's like Industry City or something like that, and I try to differentiate, but the reason I don't do stuff like this is because, as you can see, it's just, it's very dark, um, and I just don't feel like it shows off everything as best as it could, um, so, alright, cool, level 52, so we made it to level 52 finally, uh, I'll go ahead and collect all this junk. And I'm going to use my character tokens. So that'll put my superpower at three. And I'm going to assign that to. Uh, I'm going to assign that to H. Assign that to G. I just have a pattern. I always assign their superpowers to H uh, because it's so far out of the way. And, um, you know, it's only a button you're going to press once or twice. You know. Alright, so let's, uh, what do we got? Terminal the Hood. Um, that's another dark place. I'll, um, I'll go back. Wait, I might have even already done the hood. Yeah, I already did the hood anyway, so. We'll go to, uh, Industry City. And I'm going to re-roll because I already did the hood. Um. I don't want Midtown. And there we go. Perfect. Destroy construction equipment. I'm going to go ahead and kill myself a, a brute dealer here real quick. And then we're going to go find... Uh, shoot, somebody already beat him. Alright, we'll go find uh, Batrock over here, the Leaper. And here we go. Ready? Ready? And there it is. You get to play as. <laughs> as a frost giant. He doesn't look anything different from any of the other frost giants, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, still, 
it's kind of cool. Um, you can see he has different powers. So it's really cool to see him like use the powers of those frost giants. Uh, so there we go. That was Loki's special power. And I got a, a gold Batroc medallion. And this is definitely where Loki comes into comes in handy. Ah, oh, damn! I didn't get there in time. You can literally zap yourself right across the map. Ah, shoot! Not what I wanted to do. And I didn't get there in time either. But I'll get up here and fight Tombstone. Oh, come on. There we go. So I misjudged it. Um, I also feel like I don't. Oh, there is Tombstone. So there we go. All right. So level 52 for Loki. And that is a uh, pretty cool money shot right there. Look at all those bad guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that was Loki's level 52 superpower frost giant form. Um, turns himself into a frost giant. So, uh, we'll catch everyone later. See ya.